Hello there everybody, it is me Fuser Bunny, and welcome back to episode 6 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get Together. Okay guys, so today we're actually starting at night time tonight. Uh, so yeah, this is um, the part after Duncan became officially a member of the avant-garde club. Uh, so I just wanted to take care of a bunch of stuff before sending The Sims to bed. Um... Okay, so before he sleeps, I actually want to see if there are any interesting clubs that Callum can join. Um, we're not going to join it tonight. We're going to join tomorrow. But I just want to see in case we need to get ready for it and stuff. Um, Callum, he's kind of a playboy and he's kind of like super rich. I, I guess he's spoiled, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So Paragons is definitely an option or... Upper crust, we're not really stuck up. We we just enjoy sharing the better things in life as long as it's food. Okay, and the good time. Everyone can be. I really feel like he should try to join the good timers because I feel like that is the one that matches his personality the most. Um. Yeah, plus it looks like, yeah, we have a bunch of interesting sims to meet in that um club as well so yeah he really wants to go to sleep before he goes to sleep i want him to practice a little bit more his charisma skill so that he can um hopefully earn a promotion really soon i, I don't expect any soon though but i don't know we'll see i don't know why these two are actually way out here in the countryside uh so yeah let's have her go here as well How's he doing? Okay, and we need to level up our programming skill to level 2. So let's actually do that as well. It's 11 p.m. I feel like I'm going to let the Sims um, stay up late for tonight. Ah, she's actually feeling really great. You know what? Everybody's just going to go and level up their skills and stuff. So you're going to practice your DJ skill, actually, and see how far we can take this. And, of course, she has some dirty dishes in her inventory. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Okay. And, yeah, I'm going to speed things up for a little bit. I'm going to wait for the first sim to collapse or something. Uh, yeah. Is it? Oh, yeah. I forgot. My headlines are off. Headline effects on there we go hopefully it's yeah th there we go i was filming um i was taking screenshots actually of my speed build which is um on the windenburg cathedral so that's why i turned off the headline effects but now they're back so okay and it's 12 a.m i'm gonna go ahead and let everybody go to sleep maybe we can take care of our skills tomorrow did he level up the skill yes he did actually let me just read that to you guys really quickly reach level two of the programming skill duncan can now make plugins yay um i have no freaking idea like how to make plugins like it's crazy i'm not even like that technical like i'm not really techie you know i'm not always on my phone i'm always on my computer but it's just to watch videos and stuff but i'm not really techie so I can, i'm kind of jealous of people who know their way around um programming and coding and things like that but anyway the sims are gonna go to bed so i'm gonna go ahead and cut right here and i will see you guys in the morning all right all right all right we are back you guys and it's a lovely morning here in windenburg and the sims are awake and all of them feel absolutely miserable actually i really don't know why duncan is eating his food all the time in front of the refrigerator like i just do not get it uh, but today we're gonna try to get callum in his own club because he's so far he's the only member of our household not to be a member of his own club so you know what you're gonna go and um sit here and i think what i'm actually gonna do is okay just finish please get out of the way duncan i want to buy some bar stools at least to have a little bit of something for our family we we can somewhat afford it anyway so let's go to comfort and um yeah we're gonna go to bar stools we're gonna purchase the cheapest available one um and i wish we had some that kind of matched our setup here um which one matches i do not know 
This is the problem that I always get. You know what? I'm kind of good with that. I wish it matched a little bit better, but who cares? <laughs> okay, and one more thing that I wanted to buy is a bush. I want to buy one of the, those bush things because I noticed that the Sims always like... You know, we always have trouble with the Sims taking turns to use the toilet. So I'm going to go and purchase one of those bush things that we can pee on so that the sims don't have to wait in line for the toilet. At the duty calls model citizen bush. This is your parents shrub. This is the most by the book popular in the forest. This bush is a model citizen that follows all the rules. It makes the pines pleased and willows whistle. We were going to tell you what this bush does but it would rather share that information itself so you feel more comfortable. Basically it's just trying to say that okay. If you need to pee, pee on this bush because that's totally legit. Okay, gonna place this little bush over here. Every time I say bush, for some strange reason, I get like George W. Bush, like President Bush. I'm just like, yeah, okay. And you know what? Let's sass it up a little bit here by giving it some terrain paint or something. I don't know. I'm feeling creative right now. There we go. That looks somewhat decent. You know, that's fine. I don't want to like spend too much time on that. But there we go. We have our very own bush to pee on. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> okay, so whoever fertilize, yes. Otherwise known as how can she? Okay, I get how the boys can use the bush, but I'm just like, how can the girls? I want to see the girls pee on the bush. I know. I know, I'm not being sexist, you guys. I'm just like, I just do not know how they're gonna fertilize the bush. Or how, it's, it, this is, you know, this is very, um, very fascinating for me. So, okay, so no, no one's here. Oh, she's entering the bush and she's, I can even hear her pee. That's kind of hilarious. <laughs> but there you go, she is satisfied i guess i don't know whatever um and the bush stinks <laughs> it looks like it's so funny but whatever that's kind of great okay so um i also want her to is this thing spoiled already did he not finish his food you know what oopsie you are going to grab you know what yeah whatever we're gonna leave the house like right now um callum's actually feeling quite okay and i'm gonna have um Duncan, uh, no, 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 clean that please Duncan and I don't want to clog our toilet and stuff because literally I'm tired of seeing the repairman's face. But anyway, we're going to use um, this time to actually join a club for Callum so that he we actually see something interesting as well. So this time we're going to go, we're going to go and join the good timers club club i guess good timers club i don't know uh everyone can be a good timer you just need to appreciate a good drink and a game of foosball among friends we're gonna join this all right bjorn biegerson i'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to pronounce it anyone from the nordic countries watching please correct me if i'm wrong welcome to the good timers i'm so happy that you have decided to join our club we're having a club gathering and would like to have you join and would love for you to oh we can scroll down okay whatever uh to introduce yourself to the group okay whatever that was all it we're all going to the shrieking llama good night is on the horizon join us at the bar <laughs> do you want to come yes i'll be right there i'm sorry if my commentary is pretty crap you guys it's 11 27 p.m. So I've done three videos today and I don't know it's gonna be awesome I don't want to complain to you guys. So anyway, alrighty guys We are back and we are at the shrieking llama first of all I just have to commend that name. I totally get that reference. I believe the shrieking llama references the shrieking um, I don't know the something pony or something donkey. I forgot uh, it was um a bar or a tavern in Lord of the Rings and in The Hobbit. So that's kind of a reference to that, I guess. I'm assuming. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to go and um, more choices. Oh. Okay, so I, I was hoping we could introduce ourselves to... Oh, where did he go? 
Did you like, leave us? Oh, come on. That was so mean. Okay, so we're gonna try to introduce ourselves to our new club leader, I guess. Or I don't know. And then, um, I guess we already know him. So we're gonna get to know him. We are going to, um, discuss feelings about the good timers. And we're gonna give him a heartfelt compliment. And we're gonna brighten his day. I totally feel like, um, if they would get along together. Um, or something like that. I don't know. Oh no, Bjorn is a slob. Oh, snap. Okay, and we are going to gossip about office romances, which is an interaction that you get from working the um, From working the business career. I'm not really sure how I feel about the good timers. Do you think that people like where it's headed? Oh, so it looks like he's not really sure um, Which kind of means that the person in charge of the good timers might not be doing that good of a job so uh, yeah, anyway, we're gonna talk to the guys. Where are they? <laughs> guys? <laughs> Where are you guys? I'm guessing they're downstairs. And they're playing foosball. Okay. So we are going to um, just, you know, give him a heartfelt compliment. We're being so such a creeper here. Uh, ask him about his career. And we're gonna goof around and we are going to um, discuss interests if we get that option. Uh, let's see here. More choices. Friendly. Uh, brighten his day, and we are good. Come on, let's let's discuss interests. Uh, discuss interests, and um, let's see here. I also want to ask him about the club itself and see what he thinks. Uh, club. Talk about talk about the good timers. Is this guy also in the Spin Masters? I'm not sure. Yes, actually, he is. Awesome. So if you hover your cursor on The Sims, you can actually see which clubs they're members of, which is awesome. It makes it easier to actually see, you know, like the clubs that your Sims are interacting with, which makes it a lot more easier. And I actually really appreciate that interaction. So we're going to go ahead and talk to this lady over here as well. Um... Uh, praise the good timers. Let's gossip about just random people. Discuss interest. And I also want to ask her about the good timers as well. I feel like not everybody is really um, impressed with the club. Listen to this vintage, like not vintage, but 90s, 90s sounding, sounding music. Okay. Uh, okay, blah, blah, blah. I want to, okay, Bjorn Bagerson just keeps making the good timers better and better. Okay, whatever. And then, come on. Okay, so we're going to ask her about uh, yeah, clubs. The good timers is great place to hang out. Bjorn, okay, whatever. So it looks like we have mixed feelings actually around the club. So we're going to compliment her outfit actually. Let's be a little bit more... Um, you know, let's take on that playbo playboy personality that we have. So we're just going to get to know our fellow club members. And then we're going to drop the bomb and apply in the club. Okay, so we are going to uh, friendly clubs and we're going to um, apply to club. No, no, what? Oh, so I'm already a member. I guess I'm already a member. I didn't have to. Are we a member? Yes, I am. It looks like I'm already a member. So, you know what? What we're going to do is we are going to play together with everybody. And, okay, it looks like we're already playing. No, we're just practicing. Come on. All right, so we are going to... Uh, I'm, I'm a... Yeah, okay, so... Play together. Okay. So we're automatically, I'm assuming we're automatically going to play together with our club mates. And I'm guessing this icon over here is turning green <laughs> because we're, they're the people that we're interacting with. So did we just win that game of, did we just win that game of Llama Jenga? I don't know what this, what is this game called? Is it Llama something? I don't know. Uh, but it looks like Callum is getting along 
with his club members just fine. We're gonna make sure that everybody at home is taking care of themselves. All right, and Duncan's work begins in 20 hours. So, um, yeah, actually, you know what, you guys? I think this is enough for our club activity. I'm gonna go ahead and um, end the gathering and I will take Callum home. Okay, guys, we're back home and I actually want Callum to um, do a little bit more work um so that he you know what okay duncan is the one who's gonna do the work because he hasn't okay what okay okay it looks like both of them have actually um increased their skill enough to be eligible for a promotion i want kellum to um let's see here let's go to web and we are going to fill out reports and then she is going to we're gonna um chat with some of our group mates i guess you know just socialize with them and hang out with them let's talk over the phone with let's see who is our group leader dominic which by the way he's also in callum's group so that's kind of fun okay so we're gonna chat with candy i guess and then we're going to chat with Joaquin, maybe get them on our side and stuff. I don't know. And then he is going to clean up the mess in our toilet because it's kind of depressing. Uh, so yeah, we're just pretty much going to take care of our house. I kind of want to go around Windenburg, especially like this place. I don't know what this place is called specifically. I just kind of want to go around and look for some collectibles maybe if there's like any new plants. Oh, that's Bluebell. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. And by the way, when I was watching Deligracy, name drop alert. Yeah, when I was watching Deligracy, like, um she mentioned in one of her videos that the ducks cross the road so you guys can see some ducks over here they apparently cross the road and then the, the cars that are passing by will stop at the ducks and let them pass by which i feel like is absolutely adorable and i love that detail i think it's super super cute um so yeah, I'm just looking for some collectibles, something new that we haven't- Okay, is there a duck? Is it gonna stop for a duck? No, I guess not. <laughs> duck, um, if you're a fan of PewDiePie, you will freak out every time you hear the word duck. Okay, anyway. So let's not do some collecting today, I guess. Speed things up a little bit. And then I guess... He can, I guess he can work out, you know. I want all of these guys to stay fit. What are the actions? Oh, form group. Change outfit and cloud gaze. And then she can take a break from working out because she has, I feel like she'll be fine. And then, you know what? We're going to order some pizza. <laughs> I feel like we ran out of pizza already. So we're going to hire a service and we are going to um, order a pizza delivery. I can't wait. We're going to order some pepperoni this time. And then the last time we ordered a pizza, I believe it was like bacon or something. I don't know. And then how's Callum doing? He better be finished with his daily task. Your pizza is on the way. It will arrive shortly. By the way, the pizza arrives so fast. How I wish that that happened to me in real life. Because, yeah, I actually live really, really close to a pizza place. Like, I could just walk there for like two minutes and I'll be there. Um, but every time I order like deliveries when I have friends, <gasps> do you guys see that train thing? But anyway, like I was saying, every time I order deliveries with like my friends are around, it takes forever. I'm just like, it's crazy. It's just, it doesn't really have to take forever. Let's take the pizza. Hey girl, give me them pizzas. Okay. Here's your pizza. That'll be 25 simoleons. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the... Put that away in the fridge. And then he is done, it looks like. So he's gonna go back to, to our house. And maybe we can have him take a shower. Because he is pretty, pretty grungy. Now, I want to hear what you guys have to think. I mean, what you guys have to think. I've... <laughs> I'm so freaking all over the place. I don't know why. Look at this guy. Nice outfit. 
Oh my gosh, she is so punk. Anyway, I want to hear what you guys think about um, relationships. Um, is Jesse gonna gonna be in a relationship with one of our fellow household members? What do you guys think? Okay, let's. Oh my gosh, this is the Sims One music. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is the Sims One music, you guys. Oh. I'm totally going to talk over this because I don't want to be copyrighted. Uh, yeah, so whatever. We're going to... Oh, no. Callum's using the shower. Come on, Callum. What just... No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Are you fucking shitting me? Sorry, guys, for the profane language. But that was a very um surprising situation. You're kidding me, right? That was so stupid. Uh, privacy invaded. You know what? They're bros, so they'll, they'll be fine. Let's... They'll, they'll be fine. They can see each other's private parts or whatever. I don't know. Please. Please don't hate me. Please don't hate me. I don't really... I probably should wash my mouth out with soap or something, but I'm not a potty mouth. I never swear. Uh, only when I'm surprised or something. I don't know. But you know what, you guys? I feel like this part has been long enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this part up right here while listening to this amazing Sims 2 music. I don't think we can have a more perfect setting than the gorgeous sunset here in Windenburg. So yeah, once again, please don't forget to hit that like, favorite, and subscribe button if you guys had fun watching this video because it really, really does help out the channel a lot. You all have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.